how to install Google Analytics tracking code to your WordPress site 2016 update let's imagine that you have a WordPress site and now you want to track using Google Analytics all you need to do is log into your Google Analytics account locate tracking info and let's grab the tracking code simply press on that link and here simply grab that code log into your dashboard press on appearance press on editor and then locate header.php file depending on the theme that you're using now at this stage if your WordPress site is not showing header.php file then simply log into your web hosting account press on files go to file manager and then locate WP hyphen content folder look into themes folder and in there you'll have a folder that your theme resides in then simply locate that download it make a copy backup and so on that's always smart and you can right click add it and then insert the tracking code using this method if you're not seeing header.php file here so let's press on this through the dashboard basically you'll be able to do the same thing now simply locate the portion where it says head in brackets like so now you can place the tracking code just after the head if you want some people tell you oh, you know you can press it in the footer to save page speed load times no you don't have to worry about things like that instead focus on content creation and analyzing how your visitors are interacting with your website instead of trying to place that somewhere in the footer and so on right so you can place it in the head just afterwards or you can say you know what let me find end of the head tag as we can see here that's the end of it and you can make room just above it and place it there if you want I would encourage you to follow this approach but as I've said it makes not much difference really let's update the file and let's go and press on Control U on our keyboard and then find that end of the head let's refresh as we can see Google Analytics tracking code is now installed now while here let me show you a couple of tips and tricks we have data collection here you can have remarketing enabled simply read through the terms also advertising reporting features you can have that enabled as well it'll give you more insights in your Google Analytics while here let's also take a look at property settings and here you can enable interest reports as well as use enhanced link attribution now if you were to use enhanced linked attribution do this instead um, where are where are we yes the tracking code that you had earlier let's imagine let's copy those two lines let's go back to our tracking code info and let me open up Dreamweaver let me just create a new file let's paste those two sample lines let's grab the code again and let's do this instead let's, let's create the tracking now because you have enhanced linked attribution and display features enabled as I've shown you now you can instead place this tracking code basically allowing you to tap into a couple of advanced features 
and reporting Google Analytics makes available if you were to insert those two additional lines after you read through the terms and conditions especially for interest-based reports well here let me show you what that actually means when you're tracking on your WordPress site what Google Analytics wants you to do is inform your website visitors about the cookies and tracking that you have enabled that means you're tracking visitors right and Google's guidelines is very strict in terms of you know in your privacy policy you need to word as in write down how you're tracking people as in how you're tracking website visitors using cookies and also give them option to opt out if they do not want to be served you know tracking and so on okay you can take my privacy policy as a guideline but at the end of the day google analytics is a method for you to improve your website and you should definitely make sure that you adhere to their terms and conditions i thank you very much for learning with me and i'll talk with you in the next video session